so many collaborations you've worked on with Samsung and Prada and now Movado. Uh, you're here uh, with a new set of watches, uh, not smart watches, traditional watches that you designed. Tell us about them. Well, I, I wouldn't call them traditional watches. I would call them beautiful watches. Movado has been known over the last century for really being a, a forebearer of the Bauhaus and of modern design. And they're, they're, they're the big classic, you know, the museum watch that Movado is known for is really one of the biggest classics of design of the, of the last hundred years. Um, but this is, this is an update. This is a new design, a new approach. And uh, I think it's very exciting to, to move into, you know, such, um, you know, such good company, basically. It's remarkable, Eve, that we are looking at these watches and seeing significance in the fact that they are not connected. You cannot check your email on these watches. Is, do you still see a lot of virtue in having devices that are beautiful but actually don't do everything? Absolutely. I think, I think you know, look at, look at the way we dress, look at the jewelry, look at the, look at the accessories you wear. Um, you choose them because they're beautiful. You choose them because they reflect who you are. Um, you, you, you love them because they mean something to you. And they don't need to be all the same for, for, for us here. Um, we all prefer different things. So I think that kind of diversity in clothing and jewelry and accessories is going to continue, whether they're connected or not. This is interesting because obviously, you know, I use my job phone to monitor my steps, but my Apple Watch can do a million things. But on it, I do. I use it to check the time and check in for my flight. I don't use any of that other stuff. You know, what do we really need on these connected devices like a job on? So, so what we really need, what we found out that people love is to own their own data, to know what's going on with, with, with themselves. It's very personal. What you get out of a, a job on tracking device is how you sleep, how you, know, you spend your energy during the day, how you walk, your heart rate. Um, you know, these are really important um, uh, knowledge, uh, the kind of knowledge that you're really looking for as, a, as an individual. It changes the way I, you know, what I eat, it changes the, you know, what I do throughout the day, it changes what I do before I go to bed, for example. You know, we all try to not just optimize ourselves, but just have a, you know, have a better life. And those, those devices help you do that. Eve, there have been some quality problems associated with previous job on products like yeah. the F2 and F3. What, what have you learned about integrating beautiful design with you know, practical, efficient, uh, you know, customer-oriented software? I think, I think you, you have to solve all, all of it. I mean, there is, there is um, you know, you have to have a beautiful product. It needs to be well-crafted, uh, well-finished. It needs to be, you know, beautiful. It needs to, to be, you know, uh, survive, you know, the, the, the everyday, you know, life that we have. So, you know, what, what I've learned is, um, you know, products that, that people love are products that last. And um, that's, that's what we do, you know, that's what we work on every day.